Nathan, uh, thanks for joining us. Obviously, off the back of uh, the news that you're you're going to be joining the club. Um, first of all, what's going on with you at the moment? I see you're you're sporting some sort of uh, lockdown led going on there. How's how's life for you? Yeah, not too bad. Um, obviously, it's not the best situation, but um, the lid's looking looking good. Um, uh, hopefully, I'll grow back back in time uh, to, to its natural colour. But um, yeah, uh, at the minute, I'm I'm all I'm all well. And uh, how are you? So, so where are you based at the moment then? Uh, so I'm 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 at home in Bristol, um, South Bristol, um, and yeah, there's not obviously there's a lot. We've been doing training and and our own type our own type of training, but um, yeah, it's, it's hard to to get out and about um, to do running and stuff. But we've managed I managed to be doing that quite quite a bit. So um, let's keep ticking over, ready for pre season stuff like that, and the next season. Looking forward to it. Yeah. Can you maybe just talk a little bit how that the, the move came about and how the move back north came about as well? Um, yeah, um, you know I was. Through through the the under twenties, you know, I talked to, to Sean Benin and and Graham Beveridge, who's the uh, I think he's the academy coach at, at Edinburgh at the minute. So I was I was in contact with them, and then uh, I spoke to I spoke to Richard over the phone, um, which was a good chat, and um, we we came to a decision uh, for the deal to 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 happen. And you know, I'm just I'm just delighted to be joining Edinburgh um, with such an exciting time. Uh, with with the club, you know, with the uh, stage in the Pro 14 and and in Europe, they're uh, starting to become a, a really big force, and I want to be a part of that. So um, yeah, it's really good good news, really. Yeah. You mentioned there, obviously, it's an exciting time for Edinburgh. How, how much do you know about the the club as such, and maybe the players here? I know some of them you have played with at under twenty level, but um, maybe some of the more experienced campaigners. Uh, have you seen much of them? Um, yeah, I, dro- I dropped in. During the Six Nations campaign, uh, under twenties, I think there was a time uh, we had a week off, and I, I stayed up in Edinburgh, and uh, I managed to be able to do to gym uh, in Edinburgh. So uh, I managed to to speak to um, a couple of senior lads, and obviously, uh, as you said, I I know the the younger lads really well from playing with them since since about like, Scotland under 18s up, up until now. So um, yeah, I'm really good friends with the likes of. Uh, Jack Blaine, Frost, Rowan Frostwick, and Rory Darge, Connor Boyle, uh, and all the other lads. Really, they're they're all, they're all amazing, amazing fellas. So um, yeah, I think um, it's been it was good to to get a feel of 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 the place as well at Murrayfield and um, to be training there and and working alongside the senior lads will be will be will be amazing. Yeah. Do you know much about the the city as well, Nathan? Have you have you spent much time here? Uh, yeah, so like I said, with with being up here with the twenties, um, you know, in my spare time, when we had spare time in camp, the boys would would go out and see go out and see the city and uh, go for a coffee, something like that. So it was it was good to to get around and get a feel for the surroundings, and it was it's a really amazing city and a really nice place to to eventually be living in. Yeah, so just uh, in the, in the build up to us announcing you joining us. We may be aware of the the chat on social, the, uh, the hashtag announced Chamberlain. There is a lot a lot of hype about you, and uh, supporters obviously wanting you to join the club as well. Yeah, um, you know, I, I think I wasn't I wasn't uh, that into uh, into looking into it uh, as much. You know, I was just sort of uh, getting on with training, getting on with playing. Um, you know, as you do, and uh, I'm, I'm putting that to a side. Um, it's nice to to know that the the fans want want me to to be playing in Edinburgh, and um, you know, it's it's good to give them something something back if I if I do get game time and stuff like that. So it's um, yeah, uh, from the start I wasn't really that that focused with it, but um, you know, it's good to see that um, you know fan, fans want me to to be playing for for their team and. Um, as as a young ten, as a as a Scottish pro- prospect as well, as well, um, you know, it's it's something that I want to to be to be achieving and 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 playing 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 for your country. So it's it's good to to know that people have got got your back and stuff like that. So yeah, maybe just take a step back, Nathan, just to go back to to your early career. So you've obviously been based down at Bristol Bears. 
uh, and at Hartbury College as well. What's the what's the connection there? Um, is that where you've kind of been born and raised? Yeah, so I, I was born born in Bristol. Um, you know, lived lived in Bristol all my life. Um, to be able to play for Scotland uh, was through my grandmother. Um, so she was born and, and raised in, in Scotland in, in Leithen in Fife. Um, so, you know, it's that, that connection with, with Scotland was, was really helpful. Um, and with, with the Bristol, I've been in Bristol since I was playing, playing for them since I was 13, 14 um, in the Elite Player Development Group. Um, so, you know, I've been with them for all, all the age groups um, and playing, playing for them, playing in A-League games, uh, playing in the two Premiership Sevens tournaments as well, uh, which is really good fun. Um, and then with Hartbury, um, just moved there for university um, as a university scholar. Um, yeah, I moved there in the 2018-19 season, so last year, um, which was a really big, big year for me. Um, you know, it was a great season. We we won the Bucks Super Rugby Cup at Twickenham, um, which I was awarded man of the match, which was awesome. And I was a top point scorer. Uh, for that year, over over 150 points. So that so that, that my first year with Hartbury was um, was a really big improvement for me, and I'm uh, really helpful with my development. Yeah. What's uh, what's it like being involved with the, the Bristol Bears Academy? There, they've obviously seen quite a bit of success in the recent years following the rebrand. I think there's been a massive, um, a huge amount of success academy wise. You know the the amount of homegrown players that they've uh, made either to to play to play for Bristol or other clubs has has, has been huge, um, you know, and and they've uh, with with the whole rebranding as well, you know, matching with Bristol Sport and and being connected with with the community has helped them out a lot as well. I think, yeah. Just on to to Scotland under twenties, um, you obviously came in uh, last season uh, when you made your Scotland under twenty under twenty debut against Italy at Netherdale. Am I right in saying that? Yeah, yeah. What has that experience been like? You, I take it it's been a lot of highs and lows, just with the the Under Twenty World Cup, and then obviously the the Six Nations last year. Is it has it been an interesting time for you? Yeah, um, obviously it's last year was a bit gutting with with how how it ended and and the results that we had. But I think um, you know personally, I didn't really get as much exposure exposure as I wanted. Um, but that is just a, a big learning curve, and you know I come out of it. Uh, probably a better player, a more mature player, I think. Um, and yeah, well, the whole, um, you know, being involved in in the Junior World Cup in Argentina was was huge for me as well. And that was a really good um, um, stepping stone, I'd say, for me to to, to develop. And uh, one of the big highlights from it was was being named captain against New Zealand. So uh, in in the group stages, um, which was which was a, a really good achievement and a, a really good game. Uh, I thought it was one of our better games of running rugby um, throughout the whole season that we played in. And um, but you know the whole uh, Six Nations tournament uh, last year it was. Um, we we got one win against Wales, which was which was really good. But it was just a shame that we, we couldn't put any other big results in. Um, you know, all the lads were were excellent, excellent group of lads. Um, and it was the same this year. Really, the, the whole team spirit was really good. Um, but yeah, last year we were just really unfortunate with uh, not getting the best results in in the Six Nations and the World Cup. But yeah, looking at this year, you look like. You really enjoyed playing your rugby in that kind of under twenty setup with, with Sean Lenin as well. Um, you look at the Wales game; I know that was probably obviously a special one for you, getting named man of the match. Can you maybe talk through that game? Three tries. I mean, the highlights were everywhere. It must have been a fun one to be part of. Yeah, um, you know, the the coaching staff this year were, were really excellent. You know, the whole the physios, the the doc, the S and C, um, Sean. Uh, Shade and Chris, um, you know everyone. The the players were were awesome. Uh, I think um, everyone was just in a positive mindset, and I think um, it, it, it benefited us as players. You know, it reflected um, 
you know that was that was our main strength really as as a group. We were re- really positive and, and we didn't really um, back down from anything, which was one of our main aims. You know, we wanted to, to put a statement out there for for everyone. Um, I think as a group, um, you know, our main aim was to get back into the world, the junior world championship. With the last game um, against Wales, it was um, it was a really really good game to be playing in. Um, you know, we. Overall, it was a really good, strong performance as as a group. Um, you know, just scoring scoring three tries was um, was was a really hot, real high for me. Um, you know, I didn't really believe I could do it, but um, you know, I was, I was probably in the right places at the right time and that, and, a, and a bit of luck. But um, you know, as as a whole, I think the group group played awesome. Um, they're outstanding, I think, and that was our, probably our best performance. Um, from the whole tournament, yeah. You kind of mentioned, you touched on it earlier, just about the, the young guys that you've played with at under-20 level. who are obviously at Edinburgh well, as well, the likes of Rory Darge, uh, Ron Frostwick, Connor Boyle. How, how good is that group coming through? Um, I think probably Edinburgh fans have seen um, splashes of it in pre-season and whatnot, but how much do you rate this next group coming through? Uh, yeah, uh, I rate them a lot. Um you know they're really good friends of mine, and um, I think with, with Edinburgh, um, there's a there's a lot of young talent coming through, um, and especially those guys. I think we can they can uh, boost boost the team and help the team. Um, you know with their with their abilities. Um, you know as you say, we got we got Rory and uh, and Connor in the back rows, which are which are big. Um, Big player, big big team players. You know that they, they work hard for the team, and I think that's a, that's a really good aspect. And working with Frosty, um, both both uh, twenty seasons. You know, um, I can't can't say a bad thing about him really. Um, so you know, at, at Scrum Half, he's got really good leadership with with the connection between between me and uh, what what when, when playing between me and the forwards and stuff like that. And uh, Jack as well on the wing scores a lot of tries, um, you know, and he's a really good prospect as well. And uh, I think, uh, yeah, I can only speak highly of them. Yeah. Well, Nathan, we'll leave you there. I'm sure uh, Edinburgh fans are looking forward to seeing you in the number ten jersey at some point. And uh, yeah, we look forward to welcoming you to the club as well. So thanks for joining us, Nathan. Cool, no problem. My pleasure. Cheers.